Everything going for you? How are you good. feeling today? I'm feeling good. Had some technical difficulties yesterday, but that's resolved. And we've been busy with sales, so doing really good. How long have you been coming to the Evergreen Expo? Mm, it's been at least six, seven years, maybe longer. I don't even know. Yeah, that's amazing. We actually have a lot of artists through here. Through here. We have, uh, well, your husband, <laughs> Rock, who is on our sponsored team. We have Robbie Latos over there. He's on the pro team. Robbie. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Daniel Brevik over here. He's he's one of our newest one uh, members on our team. And then around the corner, we have a bunch of people, some a few people over there okay, that are on our team awesome. as well. Well, we have one of our newer ones is the anime set, which is made by uh, Adam Projectal and Michaela Bottini. This has been um, a real hot item. A lot of people around here are into the anime and comics and things like that. Ooh, that's lovely. Yes. Then we have the dark side, which is our concentrated ink set. This is very new. Uh, this has been a very big winner in sales for us at the shows. Everybody's very excited about these. And then, of course, everyone is loving the muted tones, which would be monochromatics. This is, uh, this is my last set here. Actually, I sold out a lot of them. This is Pooch's set that he came up with. Um, and then the AD Poncho is the other big seller right here too, which is in comparison to the monochromatics pretty close to each other. So these two sets are like head and head on the sales side. That is amazing. Yeah. Another one of our newest is going to be the triple blackout. Um, we have the blackout and then we have the triple blackout. So these are the blackouts over there. The, the, uh, these are rather new. Super dark, glycerin free. So that makes it a nice a nice choice for the artist, such as like Robbie Latos would probably use these because you know, he does a lot of black and gray work. So. so today I'm working on an anime piece and it's it's so important to her. You know, it's a Sailor Moon piece. Well, I'm sorry. How, who is it again? Sailor Moon. Yeah. So we, this is stuff we're doing today. It's in, it's in homage of her daughter. It's gonna be in full color. So something different, amazing, and cute, you know? Easy day, easy day. I've been tattooing now for 23 years. Um, that is amazing. I love it. You know, I love the industry. I love how it's going. I love the products. I love how things are being all artsy now and not like how it used to be. So it's involved a lot, and honestly, I love it. So I have a monochromatic set, which pretty much, um, it's like a drawing set. If you know how to use any type of pencils or grab bikes, it's that type of set. And then I have a Muted Storm set, which is more like a shadow set. You know what I'm saying? So you mix those with different colors to put things in shadows. It's that doing is, great. It's doing great. That is absolutely amazing. You just asked me for some wild lady face that had a bunch of teeth. Oh, and he gave you creative control to do whatever you would like? Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. I try to relax. <laughs> you know, relax while I'm tattooing. And how long have you been tattooing, Robin? Uh, about 15 years. Oh. And you. how has it been going for you here at the Evergreen Expo? I love it here. This is the best show ever. Oh, yes, definitely is. Are you going to be entering your piece in any other competition? Um... Probably not. Maybe though. I don't know. He wants to. <laughs> so I do a contemporary style of Polynesian um, and also Filipino tattoos. So they're more uh, cultural um, than uh, other, uh, a lot of the other styles that you see out here today. So when I shade, I do uh, some of the marble stone, but for the most part, I use uh, the double sumi and the King Kong blacks. For the lining and filling it in. And that is all world famous ink. Uh, Kurosumi and world famous, yeah. Awesome, awesome.
I'm going to see if I can do for uh, tattoo of the day. Uh, maybe tomorrow for ornamental, we'll see. Awesome. So I'm doing a, a photorealistic portrait of uh, Kurt Cobain today. So we're, we're about five hours in, four hours in at this point. Oh, that's Tori's a rock, man. She doesn't complain at all. Typically, I have to get up and take a break before she does. Oh, wow. That's... We're going to try and enter it in for best of the day. That doesn't start till 9.30, so we got a couple hours left. Oh, that's amazing. That's... Uh, I've been tattooing for four and a half years. Uh, my five-year anniversary will be in September. Are you serious? Yeah, I got really lucky. Uh, somebody somebody just happened to come across my step at the right time. So That's amazing. Some... That's a milestone accomplishment. The, my tattoo today is the car, is the old Chevy, in the shed from the grandfather to oh, my wow. friend. And can yeah. you tell us what inspired your tattoo today? Yeah, my grandfather passed away uh, in uh, 2021 from COVID, and this was his truck that he had my whole childhood growing up. So it's actually just a portrait of the truck. Oh, that is amazing. That is a great memorial piece. The show's been going great, man. Um, this has probably been one of the best shows that I've ever experienced. Uh, partly because, man, all the family's here, man. This is one of those great shows that you just can't get this anywhere else. The love, uh, the camaraderie, the respect of each each artist. You know, this is just a, um, it's touching. At the end of the day, this is the last day of the show and it's kind of bittersweet because you want to, continue to you know tattoo and um, hang with your buddies you know we share a lot of great laughs uh, my buddies got me this weekend joking on the fact that I almost drowned in uh, Puerto Vallarta in Mexico so that's been the going uh, joke around the convention uh, but it's fun you know all good friends pick on you healthily healthy Healthy relationships are built on people picking on you. Because real friends, they tell you the real jokes. And they poke fun. But uh, nah, man, this show has been a, a true blessing uh, to, to meet a lot of uh, my old clients, make some new ones. You know, it's just been one of those fun, lasting memories that will last forever. This will last in infamy, in my mind. Um, this was my birthday weekend, and uh, a lot of times I'm like, oh man, ain't nothing. there's nothing not, uh, crazy that's going to happen for me. And um, I got to I gotta admit, man, this is fun. This is probably one of the best birthdays I've ever had. 